Hey everyone, Mitch here. In this tips and tricks video, we're going to be going over how you would use an initiative tracker in Albert Rodeo. Before we get into it, I want to explain a little bit of the philosophy on Albert Rodeo and why there isn't an initiative tracking system in the site itself. When designing features for Albert Rodeo, we really want to make sure that whatever we add doesn't add too much complexity to the site because that's one of our main strong points. But we also want to make sure that we stay true to the feeling of sitting around a table and playing in person with each other. With this in mind, initiative tracking is a little bit different in Albert Rodeo because we rely on our token system. Tokens in Albert Rodeo aren't just monsters and players that you put on the map. They actually kind of represent anything that you would lay out on a board or a table. So that can be things like props, like maybe a campfire mini, or even a, a card that you might uh, give a player which has some, some information or a puzzle. This flexibility also leads into initiative trackers, where we can upload an initiative tracker token which has a set of numbers on it, and then you're able to place your tokens on that initiative tracker and keep track of where the players are. As an example for this, I will upload a simple initiative tracker that uh, I made and that is available in the description in this video just so we can see kind of what the workflow is like. Okay, I'm just gonna hit the plus button here and I'm gonna drag in the initiative tracker. And so now we've added our initiative tracker token and I'm gonna edit it just to make sure it's at the right size. So first of all, since we have uh, 26 distinct sections here, I'm going to make sure that our default size is at 26. And this means that every token will have its own section. The next thing I'm going to do is change the category of our token. And I'm going to change this to a vehicle or a mount. And what this allows us to do is that whenever we place another token on top of this initiative tracker, we can then move the initiative tracker and all the tokens that attach to the initiative tracker will then move as well. Okay, I'm just going to hit save here, done. And now I can drag our initiative tracker into the scene, uh, place it kind of at the bottom of this uh, map here. And now you can see we have maybe this encounter with the, you know, a barbarian ranger cleric versus a couple of goblins. And if I want to track their initiative, I can now simply drag another ranger token here. Maybe they rolled a 14, uh, drag my barbarian token. They got pretty good, say they got a 21 and our cleric didn't do quite as well and maybe rolled a nine. And then lastly, our goblins over here, uh, they did very poorly and they got a five. So now you can see we have this uh, simple initiative tracker here. And if say, I don't really like where it's uh, positioned on the map, I can drag it down and all the tokens that are on top of it will follow. I can also, if I want, I can click and maybe lock the token. So that means my players won't accidentally grab our initiative tracker and start moving it around. And if you wish to have a, some kind of way to mark where you're at in initiative, uh, the simplest way to do that is just simply use another token. This uh, Blood Hunter token here can be good for that as it kind of looks like an arrow. So I can grab that and say start here at 21. And then as we go through the initiative, I can simply move this token down to wherever we're at. And that way uh, the players and the GM know exactly kind of where initiatives are. And with this system, you can take it kind of as far as you want. Uh, if you have monsters that pop up mid uh, fight, you could uh, perhaps have uh, hidden tokens here on the initiative tracker that then uh, appear to the players when the, the monsters kind of appear in the battle. Um, if you don't like the design of this place marker, you could upload your own arrow or anything you want. Or even if you don't like the design of the initiative tracker itself, you could uh, create your own sci-fi themed one or even a more fantasy themed one that might fit with your world. Overall, the system is designed to be flexible, uh, but also not add any complexity for those who don't need an initiative tracker. Say they're playing a game which doesn't use initiative tracking, then they don't have to worry about it and doesn't actually add any unneeded uh, UI elements. One last thing to mention is that uh, on our subreddit, there are quite a few people who have posted their initiative trackers, and also on the Patreon-only Discord, 
Uh, a few people have posted their own versions of initiative trackers that have a more fantasy theme or add some more uh, complex elements that might suit your game a little better. Anyway, that's it for this tips and tricks video. Um, I'll see everyone next time. Thanks for watching.